Hello everyone this is Umkar Pala welcome back to my youtube channel today we are going to talking about the ghosting effect this is one of the most easiest effect and there is a lots of way you can do this and you will get better results every time so we are going to talk about three ways to make ghosting effect in adobe premiere pro as i said this effect is very simple so let me show you the first way to do this go to effects and search for the echo Go ahead and drag that on the clip which you would like to apply this effect. So I'm gonna apply here, and there you can see the clip has become a lot brighter, and it's also adding a little bit blurriness. Now let me show you some settings which will make this footage much better. Go to the top left on your effects control. Go ahead and open up your echo, and start messing around with this. It is automatically set to add, and that's why it is pretty bright here. If you just put it on blend, composite in front, screen, maximum. minimum uh, you will see it's going to give you lots of different looks try all of them just mess around with the settings until you get the look you want before we move to the next step check out this cool looking transitions and motion graphic templates you can download them for free i created a video on how to use them and i also created a playlist on free stuff check out my channel and hit the subscribe button now let's move to the second step now i have my fresh clip on my timeline i'm going to make duplicate of this by holding down alt and drag this layer up now i'm going to hit control r to bring the speed and duration tab i'm going to do the speed about 90% for this clip you can do it however you like to do it but for me 90 looks fine then go to the opacity and bring it down to 50% and hit play that's going to give us ghosting effect well, let me make it around 99% and that's give us a pretty good ghosting effect now let's move to the third way to do this Let's duplicate our clip first. Then go to the effects and search for posterize time. Uh, this is our third way to create ghosting effect. Now go to the effects control. Uh, now down there you will see posterize time. There is only one option to adjust this frame rate. So right now it is 24 because our sequence is also 24 fps. So we are not gonna see anything happening. So now let's take this down to 10. That means now your footage is 10 fps. This is gonna show 10 frames per second. That's creating a bit stop motion effect. Now create a ghosting effect from this. Just go to the opacity and and you can change the blending mode here. I'm changing it to screen and now let's play the footage. And now we got the really cool stop motion ghosting effect here. So these are the three easiest way to make ghosting effects in Adobe Premiere Pro. If you guys enjoyed this video, definitely subscribe to my channel. Let me know which one was your favorite in the comment sections. Follow me on Instagram and check out my channel if you are new here. So stay tuned and stay creative.